Hi, welcome to this Simply Maya tutorial on dynamic object placement. Now this will be a short free tutorial, but hopefully it will save you guys some time. So we're going to start by just creating a sphere, and I'll show you what the problem is. So I'll go up to surfaces and just create a NURB sphere. I'll flick into our four view so I can place this. Let's have a look. Press W on the keyboard to move it and we'll just move it over our bowl. Now, traditionally, if I wanted to place this sphere, make it a little bigger so we can see what's going on, into this bowl, I'd have to select it, move it, I'll move it down in the four view here, just make sure this doesn't intersect with our geometry, and again, move it along here, and now I have one sphere in the bowl. If I press Control D to duplicate, W to move, I now have two spheres in the bowl, but I'll have to spend some time making sure it's not intersecting with either the bowl's geometry or the other sphere's geometry. And if I want to put a lot of objects in this bowl, it's going to take a long time. The, the placement is going to be, um, well, time consuming and a pain. And I'm going to show you a much faster way to do this. And this won't just apply to, uh, well, spheres in a bowl. This could be used for randomly placing uh, items on a desk, um, whether it be sheaves of paper, grains of rice. I mean, this has a lot of useful applications. So we'll start off by just getting rid of one of these spheres. We'll bring the other one to the outside of one of our bowls here. So, uh, sorry, to the outside of our bowl here. And the first thing I'm going to do is just duplicate it four times by pressing Control D four times. So, I'm going to move these randomly out over our bowl. Okay, uh, I want five actually because I want to end up with 15 of these spheres in the bowl. So, if we go to our outliner. I want to select these five, press Ctrl D to duplicate, move them up, Ctrl D again, move them up. Now here we have our 15 objects. Um, so, okay, there you have your, your 15 objects that we need to put in this bowl. Now if we went back and started moving these individually into the bowl, it's going to take time. So a much quicker way is to select all our NURB spheres. Go to Soft Rigid Bodies, this will find under your Dynamics section here, and just attach a active rigid body to this. Now, if we look under the Shape node here, um, you'll see that we have a rigid body uh, attached to each one of these now. However, if we press play, nothing will happen. This is because these rigid bodies need some sort of gravity or some sort of external force affecting them. So before we do that, we need to make the bowl here a passive object, so it's capable of catching these when they fall to the floor. So again, soft and rigid bodies create passive object. And we still have no type of force. So before I do that, I just want to shade these balls, um, these spheres. So I'll select them all here. I'll add a new material to them. Um, so create new material. And I'll use a mental ray images architectural material. I will give it a glossy preset, just because I like a little bling in my render, uh, renders. So here we go. I'll go for sort of a dark red. So now these have all got rigid bodies attached, and this has a rigid passive body attached. What we need to do is create a little gravity or some sort of force within our um, scene to affect these spheres. So our Dynamics tab here, drop in a Gravity Demon, select all the spheres, because again if we play now nothing happens because uh, you have to tell the Gravity Demon what it needs to affect. So I'll select all the spheres in the Outliner, Shift select the Gravity field, then go up to Fields, Effect Selected Objects, and now if I play you'll start to see that gravity dragging these spheres down. So I'll give that a little bit more room to calculate, and press play, and you should see your spheres drop neatly into your bowl. Just give that a minute to settle. Okay. Now, we still have one problem. If I um, went to another frame, it's I'll click, but it'll take ages. It'll try and calculate a dynamic um, 
calculation, which it hasn't done because the, the jump was too far. But either way, you can't really work like this. And if I go back to the first frame, well, all of our balls have now um, reset to default. So just re-simulate to get these back into a reasonable position. Let them settle for a second. Okay, and what we need to do now is, is this is our position I'm happy with, is we need to get rid of all the dynamic information from our scene. So we can do this by selecting all of the objects that have had a rigid body assigned to them. That's our bowl and all these NURB spheres. Go up to Edit, Delete by Type, Rigid Bodies. We'll get rid of the gravity field from our simulation. I'll select all of these and go to Edit, Delete by Type history and I'll also uh, reset the transformations for them so freeze transformations okay now it doesn't matter where we go our little spheres stay in the bowl so I'll just take a quick render so you can see we have no intersecting geometry or anything like that so here we go And there you are, that's all our spheres placed neatly inside our bowl with a minimum amount of effort. Now, I hope you found this helpful, and remember, this technique can be applied to many other things inside of Maya. So, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.